everyone, welcome to my channel Chali. This is Chali. Of course, it means like a Chala really don't, but in a short way, you can call me Chali. And today we're gonna paint this amazing 3D sculpt, 3D print. Zack Snyder's Justice League Marching Manhunter. Uh, I bought the 3D file from someone else and I will leave a description in the below uh, for the link so you can buy it if you want and print it to someone else because I don't have any 3D printer. And today I'm gonna try to paint it. And the first time I'm gonna do something like that. I know I made a, so many cosplay stuff before, but first time I'm gonna paint uh, from scratch and it's some kind of figure. It's another action figure, but it's a, like a statue. Uh, I'm gonna try. Also, it has a cape, but it has. A, I didn't attach it yet because I want to paint the back also. And after painting, we're gonna attach it too. So let's go and paint that. Okay, let's start with the look in the statue itself. I hope, I wish it was a, an action figure because I'm a, a 112 action figure collector and this is of course not an action figure, but so far not any other company doesn't produce any Zack Snyder's Justice League Marching Manhunter, so this is the best option I have, but clearly this STL file, this uh, 3D print file is made for the 1-6 scale statues and in 112 it's kind of work but it's also kind of doesn't work but anyway as I said before this is the best option I have and also it came in parts you know, like you know head and arms and legs and the main body and other stuff and the cape of course and I need to glue them together also there was a gaps between them and then fill them with a Tamiya putty and I'm gonna put around here somewhere to uh, pictures of the product and you will see what was I used and then send it down and put it again and send it down and something like that but I didn't want to bother you with that process so I skipped that part I didn't I don't have any footage about that but you know the deal so today we're gonna directly print this and I'm gonna want to show you which paints I use for the main body I'm gonna mix medium green and titanium white. These two paint will be for the skin of the margin. And also, and also you can see the reference picture I use for this guy. It's from the Queen Studios, Zack Snyder's Justice League Marching Manhunter uh, statue. I think it was for the San Diego Comic Con exclusive or something like that. And I take it as a reference and I decided because in the movie we didn't see the clear much man after in I think we just saw him in two scenes one is he transferred from the Martha and you know uh, coming from the Lewis Lane or stuff like that and it was a very dark scene and also in the end of the movie he came to warn to Bruce Wayne about the dark side and in that scene, there was a too bright, you know, sun coming from the bag and the other stuff. So we can't clearly see it, the colors of it. So I decided to take the reference as that picture. And for also his skin tight suit, I'm gonna use this black blue. It's kind of perfect color for that. And for the cape, cape looks like in some pictures, kind of same with the skin suit and some pictures it doesn't look like it's like a little bit purple like a little bit more violent or something like that but I don't I'm not sure so I'm decided to you know mix the both of the both first and I'm gonna use this ultramarine violet and also again blue black and mix them together about half and half and you know, one volume of this, one volume of this and I'm gonna mix them and uh, I'm gonna paint the cape with that. Also, there's a little, you know, this circle things, it's gonna be of course gold and and for the these red lines, I'm gonna use Tamiya Clear Red. And for the eyes, I'm gonna use again Tamiya Clear Red, but with one different thing I'm gonna do I bought this glow in the dark paint and I already tried that onto red it's gonna kind of work I'm gonna put little dots onto his eyes you know like a pupils so 
These are gonna suck all the light in the room or the you know sunlight then when I turn off the light it's gonna glow. Hope so. At least I try it on somewhere else it's work hope it's gonna be work onto this. Let's try. Okay let's start. By the way at the same time there's a laptop near to me it's open and show me the pictures of the Queen Studios March of Manant statue so I can keep looking at and where I'm gonna paint what color or you know other stuff. I want to do it by the layers because even in this scale there are some little uh, details on the statue itself so I don't want to miss them you know, don't want to fill them with a acrylic paint so I'm gonna give it a you know water it down and apply with the layers by layers so hope so it's gonna be beautiful and in the meantime by the way this is my first English video in my recent videos you know the previous ones many of the DIY videos the cosplay videos other stuff has English subtitles just a few of them doesn't have I think uh, but many of them almost most of them has uh, you can check them all also but I talk in Turkish my native language so this one first time I want to try in English so please if I made some mistakes in the video as you know grammarly or you know, English please be kind and just let me know so I can improve my English right and the painting like this you know it doesn't be have to perfect in the first layer it needs to be getting better and better in each layer so I will take my time because you know I don't have 20 of this I only have one so I have to paint it as good as I can and the good thing is about the acrylic paints they dry very fast so I don't have to wait about you know hours and hours to dry this paint the second layer I will just paint this wait about maybe 10 20 minutes then I can paint next maybe even I paint the other arms this start you know getting dry and this mat is actually for the cat cutting on the elder all other stuff I just bought it a few days ago and it has this plastic cover onto it just for you know packaging and other stuff but today I leave it onto it so I can paint onto it and doesn't get paint anywhere around the table yeah. but maybe you won't see it on my next videos I don't know and you can see there's a gap between the body and the arm shoulder and I didn't feel it because there will be a cape and it's gonna cover it anyway so I don't want to use my or waste my Tamiya putty onto these parts uh, if you you know buy and do the same things the file you know uh, it's up to you you can feel it or not I'm actually not get to use you know paint the things with the brush I used to have an airbrush you can see on the, my previous videos I use it a lot of time to paint my cosplay stuff my costumes and you know accessories or other stuff but it's broken I can't use it right now so I'm gonna stick with the brush if it was a perfect print I would paint everything first then the glue them together but the gaps and the paints I have to mixture them together to have the you know the final result I want so I'm not sure if I can get the same result again and again so I decided to glue it first then to paint it but otherwise it will be much more easier now I'm trying to you know get into all these dark spots and paint them also nicely so far I believe 
two layers gonna be enough but we will see and there are some little areas so I don't want to you know ruin the other stuff so I'm gonna give it a little brush and these little golden parts it's, I'm gonna paint them black first anyway so I don't care because black is gonna cover everything up yeah so far this is the first layer and it's not cover all which is fine because it's gonna be covered on the second layer I hope so I'm gonna put this aside and let it dry for 10 to 20 minutes then we will come back few minutes later now I believe it's mostly dry it's ready for the second round and let's go I hope two layers gonna be enough because I'm a lazy man I don't want to paint it three times but if it takes three times let's be three times from here I want to yell at the, the Mayfax, ASH Figuras and the other companies who produce, you know, make 1 to 12 scale action figures. Please make Zack Snyder's Justice League Marching Manator and also Green Lantern and also Deathstroke and also Mira, you know, all other characters because we don't have them and believe me, they will be sell like a crazy. And even these parts actually gonna be covered under the cape, but anyway, I want to paint it. And see, I missed that spot, so I have to paint it twice, because this is gonna be the first layer for it, at least for the dead part. And just for the, you know, warning, because I made the mistake twice, but you can away from it. Don't paint the arms first, so you can't find the spot to tight it, you know, grip it, to paint the head clearly. If you paint the head first, then move on to arms, it's gonna be much more easier for you. Don't do the mistakes I made. If you don't mixture the acrylic paint with the water, it's gonna be much more, you know, covered at the first time, but also it's gonna have so many brush marks. So if you don't want to have any brush marks, of course you're gonna have brush marks because you're gonna use brush in the end, but still if you want less, mix it with the water. I'm right now not sure it's gonna be enough for, you know, two layers or is it gonna be more, like three or four? Because in the first it's gonna be, looks like, okay, two gonna be cover everything. Maybe in the camera, I don't know, right now. It looks like, you know, it's covered everything, but in real, with my naked eye, I see the, you know, the gray spots under it. So I don't want it like that. So I'm gonna wait maybe 10 more minutes and paint it again because I want to take my time and make it perfect as much as I can. And believe me, this statue, this figure, has amazing details. It's, it's very well sculpted and in 3D, of course. I wish I have 3D printer so I can print as much as I want, but right now I'm gonna stick with this one. Okay, let me check if I have any missing spots. I think this place is already dried so much. At least I can paint it again. So it's gonna catch up with the rest of the figure, the statue, right? Few minutes later. Okay, I painted three, four coats, you know, layers, and now it's green, but not the green I want. So I decided to give it another take and with another paint. Hopefully, this will be turn out something I want. I'm gonna go with Revel. Uh, I can turn it so much, so sorry, it's but emerald green. It's an acrylic paint and also, you know, water-based, so you can thin it with the water. And I'm gonna thin it down a little bit water. And give it a slight little cut, you know, another layer on it. So, let's see. Hope it's gonna turn out better. Because this green, you know, that one, not the this one, but it's so pale, it's dull. I don't know what is the correct English word for that, but I'm sure it's not 
color I want, not the color I'm looking for. So I will try it this way. Actually, I bought this emerald cream for another project, but why not use it in here? It's gonna be better. And if you know better paint for this, you know, direct green you need to use, just let me know in the comments. So maybe other I will, you know, pin it on the top comments so other people know it and just use that. Doesn't have to be, you know, try and learn and fail and do it again like me. Looks like it's slightly better because in the end I'm gonna make a dry brush white so there's a little lines and you know some details I want to pop off and it's gonna make it a little bit brighter I guess so no, or lighter I think this one turn out better we'll see okay so far like this and actually I have two of these prints one of these from friends so you can see the difference. I believe I'm gonna put the picture on here of the matching manager from the Queen Studios and this one is much more close, yes. And I'm gonna paint it two or three times, I don't know. Let's see. Few moments later. All right, I painted it with emerald green three times, three layers and it's now kind of more green, like a darker green. And still it's not a you know, screen accurate, but I want the, this green will be the main color and bleed under it, you know. I'm gonna put top of it like a dry brush, lighter green, so it's gonna be, take the darker shadows, darker space under it, kind of. I don't know if I can tell you, but you're gonna see the process. So what I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna use this medium green again, but not with a powerful, you know, brushes, it's gonna be dry brush. And if you don't know what is dry brush, I'm gonna take just a little bit of this in a, some kind of towel like this, you know, and Take a little bit, wipe it off mostly from the brush and just leave a little bit on the brush. So, and it's also kind of hard, you know, old brush. And I'm gonna brush it gently over it, all the skin tones. It's gonna be just take the higher space, you know, details and little bumps. So the darker green gonna be stay under it, but the lighter ones gonna be top. And it's gonna give it a, you know, 3D shape. Like, you know, you can feel it. It's a real alien skin or something like that. I don't know if the camera captures it, but there is a very higher tone difference between the head and the arms right now. And I'm gonna keep doing this. I caught it dry brush it mostly and now I'm gonna take this titanium white and put a little bit of it and mix these two together so I have you know lighter green much more lighter green it's like you know darker Less darker, less darker, lighter, lighter, or something like that. It's gonna build upon each one of it. You may see the difference, maybe, I don't know, between two of these arms. This is kind of lighter green, and this is darker. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is take this titanium white again and just white this time and put a little bit onto you know this tissue just take a with a little 
brush by the way just to take a little bit and wipe most of it and I'm just gonna touch there are some little dents and you know crevices all other his skin so I'm just gonna touch that places not the other there you know just gently See, there's a little crevices in here and there and other way in here. I don't know if the camera captures it, but see, there's a little dent and when I'm brushing the brush over there, you know, gently, not too much. It just pop up much more but the white makes it you know pop up more because it's all green and darker green not lighter green or other stuff but now just white so I put a little bit onto his knuckles so he's a much man answer right he must punch someone something or creatures the things from the other world so has to be some you know damages or even if he's not you know he never punched someone these are the articulated points of our body right these are must be just worn out a little bit each time we move so and most of these crevices and you know the things on his head so i'm gonna paint it gently just like i did okay now his skin is much more better i guess and now we can move on, move on to the next part 10 minutes later my light is going low out you know from the battery or something like that so i just make a break and now I'm return. Okay, now I paint the marching skin mostly with you know green and lighter green than the white dry brush and as you can see it's just pop up the let me focus the camera yes as you can see it's just pop up to all the details and now that's not the only detail I think. I think when I look at the picture the the statue I saw some black on his skin so how i'm gonna do this not the dry brush this time but black wash for that i take a good amount of water and and if i can open this yes and give it a a good amount of black acrylic paint then just mix it and I'm gonna give it you know, a good coat of black acrylic all around the figure itself. Then let it dry for a few minutes. And after I'm gonna wipe out most of the, you know, black paint. I just want it to fill all the crevices and just to give it a little bit more texture to his skin like, you know just a little bit not darker if I want it darker you know I just paint it with a darker green all the way all but I want it has some texture and you know shades shadows all around the skin so I'm gonna do this and I don't care about if it's gonna you know get over the his suit or something because I'm gonna paint it black anyway so it's fine just wait for a few minutes it looks better even now without wiping all the you know dirtiness and stuff one minute later now I'm just dab my paper towel onto it so it will just take the unnecessary paints 
now it has some kind of black but I believe it's not enough and it can be more it's a smarter versus darker right at least people say something like this but I don't think it's a darker it's kind of realistic as much as it can because it's a you know in the end it's a fantastic world a DC world you have Superman you have Martian Man on the Green Lantern Wonder Woman and other you know meta humans or the gods or the monsters or all the other stuff it's not real you can't make it real but you can make it grounded and I think the Snyder versus was and will be grounded I will let it dry like this for a few minutes then I will wipe it one minute later Now I think it looks much more better because some crevices have some kind of shadows, you know, depths. And I believe it makes it better. But anyway, it's also killed some of the lighter areas so much, more than I need. So I'm gonna give it another little white dry brush. Not too much, but a little. So it can be better again i take my paper towel take my titanium white just a little and my smallest brush just a little bit and i'm gonna just put that edges again some highlights so black still under it nothing changed but the edges edges highlight white this is something I was aiming for. I am trying to find the hard edges so I can brush against them. So it turned into white edges. For example, this ear is the most obvious one, of course. It is like this and there's a gap. So I just put it from this section to this this direction so it edges turn white right okay okay as a skin tone i think it's just fine it's kind of a little bit dirty a little bit white green and everything inside but i may return it later but i need to see the bigger picture for that i'm starting to paint the suite itself and for that, as I said before, I'm gonna use blue black because it's like a, you know, a proper color for it. I'm gonna take a little bit of it and gonna give it a little water and paint the whole suite like it. Okay, let's see. It's lighter right now but I want to wait until it dries so I can decide it if I'm gonna mixture a little bit more black into it or not but for now looks like it's kind of maybe I think for a comic accurate if I say yes this will be the one of the best colors but for a screen accurate I'm not sure and when I'm Painting this, I realized this is actually not even a screen accurate 3D print because when I look at the movie and the statue itself, I see it has very, very different boots and you know, shoes, pants, and some other details. So I have to 
improvise something to make it look cool. And which is fine because you know this is the best option I have and I'm gonna stick with it no matter what. At least for now. Here are my Mayfix. Made one so I can buy and put into my action figure collection. Oh I will let it dry. See I paint it all and I will let it dry for 10-20 minutes so I can return it back. 20 minutes later. Now it's mostly dry and I can touch it, you know, without getting anything on my hand. But as you can see it's kinda blue more than black it's not a black it's like when i look at it i all i see is just a very dark blue so i mix it a little bit black acrylic paint onto it into it into black blue so it will be more black than more blue i hope and i try a little bit and it's kind of work i think so let's give it a try because i want it you know as much as possible to Accurate. Just for now, I kind of like this color much more. And I'm thinking about the boots. You know, there's a line between the pants and boots, so maybe I can make the boots or I can leave the boots in this color. So there will be a kind of difference, but when I look at the movie or the pictures, I don't see any difference between the boots and the pants it's like a whole one thing but i don't know you will see actually this bag doesn't so much matter because it will cover it with the cape anyway but i'm taking it as a like a, you know training so my hands getting used to uh, with this brush and little things because as you can see I'm not good with the brush so much I know how to use that but my hands are a little shaky right now so not comfortable and in the original suit it has some kind of texture on it and so they give it a white dry brush on it so it pop up everything but in here I don't have that texture I don't know if I'm gonna give it a white dry brush in the end or should I not because if I give it it's gonna be just random you know there is nothing no texture on it to white paint to hold so I don't know let's paint it black first then in the end I will decide these are really hard spots to paint because in reality, I need to paint all these parts separately and join them together, glue them together, but I don't have that option because it came into me you know, unassembled. I have to assemble myself and it doesn't fit perfectly, so I have to fill the gaps, then paint it. This is the kind of part where I need to decide if I leave the boots like this so it's gonna be black and blue or should I paint it? Let me see. Let me decide. So I think I'm gonna paint it all. Because in the movie and also in the statue it's one single paint, all same color. So I'm gonna go with that. Okay. Let it dry for more. Ten minutes later. It's mostly dry and this time I like the color much more for the suit of course and now i'm gonna paint these lines to white so i can paint them red later and i'm gonna use titanium white again if i directly paint the red on the gray it's kind of fine actually it's a little bit dark red but i wanted the bright because in the movie these lines actually kind of light up you know it's shine true to sweet but I can't make it like that if that the glow paint wasn't pink but red I could use it but I tried it in some other pieces 
and it is pink it's not white it's not red so I decided not to use that in here because in my original plan I was gonna use it in all this line so even if I make it you know red undercoat and paint it on it it still looks like a white and pink or between something like that so it doesn't match with what I want so I decided not to do that in there but only in the eyes maybe okay so far so good one minute later and after these lines getting white I need to make eyes white too. eyes white shot not shot of course in this case it's gonna be all white It's not easy man, not easy to paint these eyes white, but I think I kind of did, so yeah, let it for the dry. One minute later. It's all dry, now I can give it a red paint onto it, so it became red. And for that, as I said before, I'm gonna use the Tamiya uh, Clear Red and for the thinning this, I'm gonna use Tamiya acrylic thinner. You can use also water for it, but this brand, this product, especially for this paint, so it's gonna be much more better to use that, at least in my opinion. Okay, let's give it a try. And there's a little white around there the before, you know, and I'm gonna paint them anyway. With black again, so I don't mind it for the right now. Right now, I just want to pop up the red. And also, for the eyes, I have to do the same thing, and I have to be very careful. It's very, very, very hard position to paint, actually. And I think I'm gonna give it another coat, but it needs to be dry before. Yeah. One minute later. Now it's time to second coat. Okay, now it looks good red, as you know. But there are some little leaks around, so I'm gonna just Firstly, paint there to cover some mistakes and I'm gonna let it dry for a few minutes too then move on to the next part few minutes later now I'm gonna paint these two little medals I think I don't know what are these little circles and things in a pure black so after that I can paint it gold if you want Paint something metallic, paint it black first. This is kind of trick and coat, something like that, to paint it black, to paint it metallic. Otherwise, it's still gonna be metallic, but I don't think you get the result you want. Few minutes later. I'm gonna use this finger wax, called finger wax for that. And for just a suggestion, don't don't use the wax like me. I don't have gold paint right now. I have to use this. If you use acrylic paints, it's gonna be dry much more faster and save you a lot of time. But for now, I only have this. I'm gonna stick with that. Okay, now it's gold. Ten minutes later. Now it's time to move on to cape, and the cape is also same plastic. It's not gonna move or you know possible it's like a statue I say that 
one six, not one six. Sorry, one twelve statue. It's gonna be. So I'm gonna. I check the image again, and I see it's more purple than a black. It's not black. It's kind of purplish violet black. So I'm gonna use this ultramarine violet and mix it with a little bit blue black. I already tried to mix it with black, but it's black almost cover everything and it's kind of turning a black, so I don't want it. I want it to be more purple, more violet, so I'm gonna, I'm not gonna use black. Then just a little bit violet, ultramarine violet, and adding some blue black, little bit water and mix it. I can directly paint it with violet, but I think it's gonna be too light. And I want it a little bit darker again, because most of the figure itself is like a kind of darker tones. And I want to keep it for the cape itself also. I will leave it to dry for a few minutes, then I will paint the inside of it. One minute later. And as you can notice, I didn't paint this area because it's gonna glue on the March Melon's shoulder, right? And glue doesn't stick with the paint. Actually, it stick with the paint, but in the end of the day, paint's gonna come off and the cape will drop, you know, fall. So I'm not gonna paint there. So also I'm gonna scratch some of the paints in here with the X-Acto knife. Then I'm gonna glue it. But first we need to wait to the dry, then we can move on to. And before we actually Lid, I want to give it a little bit shadow with a black wash. I believe it looks better because it has these all the crevices, you know, the cape has its own shape, it says drop and other stuff, but and it has also kind of natural shadows, but I don't want the natural shadows, I want the real shadows and the shadows always will be there and it it has to be in it there always because i'm gonna put this into my you know d12 and to let it there right to be there to show the, you know and so i'm gonna give it a little bit shadows 10 minutes later now the cape dry so i can give it a little bit black wash. just fill the crevices and the Amputates with black, so it has kind of a natural, not natural of course, but kind of natural shadows. And also, it won't look just the you know, only purple or violet. It will have its own depth. When I'm doing this alien stuff, you know, these are not the stuffs made in the earth. These are stuffs made in outer space, right? And in my mind, these are the far beyond our technology. So sometimes I feel like I need to leave them as clear as possible. So it's gonna be, you know, wow, it's perfect. It's like a Superman kind of thing. Or, but sometimes I feel like, oh, but still they're working the earth and we have dirt space, you know, dirty places. So they can get the dirt. I don't know. I always like the things with the battle damage, you know, just rusty, old, that's me, that's up to you, you don't have to do this stuff, you can skip that part completely, but as I said, it's up to you. If you come to this far in the video, I thank you and Please consider to subscribe my channel and give me a like, maybe share on the other social medias, it's up to you. 
And if you don't like it, thank you anyway. And one more time, I want to mix the same paint, the violet, ultramarine violet, black blue, just a little bit white, so I can light it as a color and give it a dry brush to the edges. Now I fill the crevices with the black and I want to give edges to, you know, that lighter tone. These are what I'm after of. I believe it's much more better now. It's a little worn out, it's a little look old, but that's what I'm after. 10 minutes later. Now the cape is dry, figure, statue itself dry. Now it's time to seal everything with a varnish. And I make it in a two part, this, because the eyes, this, little circle things and the red lines gonna be sealed with gloss varnish then the rest the cape the skin then the, you know suite and everything else uh, gonna be covered and sealed with matte varnish I'm gonna let it dry for 10 minutes, then flip them all and uh, seal the bags. 10 minutes later. Okay, now leave this to completely dry, then we can glue the cape to the figure and call it the day. One minute later. Now everything is dry and safe to touch. All I need to do is to understand where it's gonna, where I need to gonna glue this piece, like, see this. So I'm gonna scratch a little bit from here, here, here. Yeah, it's gonna break my heart because I did all the hard work in here but yeah glue only sticks to you know plastic not the paint so i have to scratch a little bit so it doesn't come off and also I will scratch these places a little bit, so I will make some dents and the other stuffs to glue to hold on because if it's so smooth, glue can't hold it. I will use super glue for that. And just hold it like this for a few seconds maybe 30 seconds or a minute one eternity later and i think we can say it it's done let's look into glamour shot and show you how beautiful this figure is
Alright guys, I finished the paint of the Zack Snyder's Justice League Marching Manhunter and I think it's turned out great. Not fine, but great. I like it. And I'm gonna put this into my one 12 scale uh, action figure collection and it's gonna finish the team, you know, and complete the Zack Snyder's Justice League with that and unite the seven. So if you want to print this and paint to yourself, I'm gonna share the link for the where you can buy this in the description below so you can buy it and download it and print it and paint it just like me and see you on the next one by the way don't forget to subscribe my channel share my videos and like it it will be great for me thank you see you later see you next time